"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, the creature was stirring, not even a bowel. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And while my other kerchief and I and my cap had just sold our braids for long winter's nap. When out on the wall the rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I waved to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Moved the breast of the new fall snow, gave a luster of midday to objects below. But what to my wondering eyes should appear? A venture sleigh, a tiny ranger. Full little driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. But rather than eagles as coarse as they came, it whistles and shouted and called to my name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild herd came fly, the mutants to the obstacle, not to the sky, so up to the house, top the course they flew, the sleigh full toy St. Nicholas too. But then the twinkling I heard the roof, the prancing and pawing of each old hoof. As I drew the head, she came turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. The good part's coming. Yeah. He was stretched all the fur from his head to his foot, his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and it looked like a peddler or something he packed. His eyes had no twinkle, his dimples hot very. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His throat little mouth had drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. So, the stuff of a pipe he had tightened his teeth, and he smoked and circled his head like a roof. He had a broad face, a low round belly, and shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. HO HO HO! He was chubby and plump, right jolly old elf. I had laughed when I saw him and sat by myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head, soon even to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke that word when straight to his work. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team give a whistle, and away they all flew with the down of the thistle. But I heard him exclaim, and we drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Lovely. What a nice story. That's a lovely story. Right. Have a very happy and joyous holiday season. Lovely.